Hi folks, this is all the fruit and I finally found the fruiting Ficus Elastica. Sorry for the gloomy video, the sun was shining like crazy until half an hour ago, but not anymore. I'm on the island of Tenerife at the north coast and yeah, such weather in winter is not so unusual in this part of the island. Well, Ficus Elastica, from the over 1000 Ficus species, this is one which has yeah, quite an intimate, uh, let's say, relation with me and with a lot of people from Europe. You see, when I was a kid and a teenager, this was basically the only plant we were calling Ficus. In Bulgaria there were like two different fig species present. Ficus carica, of course, in the farms and fruit shops and the very different Ficus Elastica. We used to call Ficus Carica Fic and this one we used to call Ficus. All the other Ficus species were very rare, you could find them in botanic gardens and maybe with some plant collectors, but this was one of the main ornamental indoor plants we had. Basically almost every flat had one. When I went to Germany, well, there were a couple more ornamental indoor ficus, like Ficus Benjamini and so, but in the 80s and 90s, this was still one of the main indoor ornamental potted plants in Germany. So basically, everybody in Europe over the age of 30 should be quite familiar with this plant. Nowadays, it's not so popular as a house plant anymore, but here in Tenerife, there are still tons of pretty old trees, look. One, two trees here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here I can see eight trees. And I looked a lot for fruit. I thought maybe they are not fruiting. I learned recently that um, most of the ficus species here in Tenerife like the fig wasps for pollination. I thought maybe the trees don't feel well here, maybe they are not in season, but finally I found a couple fruits. Let's try them. They don't look very big and exciting, but at least this one looks kind of juicy. Mm -hmm. Well, the good thing is there is some sweetness. The bad thing is it's basically like chewing sweet sawdust. Imagine you mix sawdust with some sweet tea. Yeah, it tastes like a slightly sweet tea. And then you chew the tea infused sawdust. Hmm. Nah. The second one was just some slightly wet sawdust without any sweetness or tea taste. Hmm. Third one just the same. What about this one? Nope. Hmm. So, only the first one was kind of nice. The other ones, they're too dry and not really juicy. I think I can see some stamens here. But yeah, the first one was not too bad, but the other ones were just boring. What a pity. By the way, this is called Ficus Elastica because it was one of the trees used for commercial rubber production. Let's see if I can get something rubber-like. Oh yeah, look at the sap here. There is some sap flowing down the tree and it's basically like removing, it's basically like removing dried up glue or maybe um, dried up silicon. And if you chew it, it's exactly like chewing rubber. I don't know what this is, it's kind of the wrong color, but let's try it anyway. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's really like rubber. Hmm. It's not supposed to be that brownish color, but still it came from the tree, so... Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. 
It's really like chewing rubber. It literally is chewing natural rubber. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Yeah, just like chewing rubber. Here is the chewed up part. Hmm. Well, folks, <clears throat> this was Ficus Elastica. Quite boring fruit, to be honest. We have a lot of better Ficus around here, but maybe if they get pollinated, they might be tastier. The first one was promising. I hoped that the other ones would be better, but they were not. <clears throat> I'll continue trying. Maybe I'll find the tree with better fruit. Okay, folks, this was Picos Elastica from the beautiful island of Tenerife in the not so beautiful weather right now. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful island of Tenerife. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.